everybody. Um, oh my gosh, I all of a sudden I forgot I had pressed play. <laughs> so I've got a big circle going. So let me um, move around. I have myself, as usual, totally uh, painted in a corner. But I'm bump. I um, I my phone is dead. So I've got it charged, but it's the new Samsung. Eight, so it has the different like charger thing than all the others. So I have all those little tiny baby adapter things, and I couldn't get that to work. And then, so then I'm calling up to my husband, "Am I stupid, or does this not work?" And he did not answer me on that one. <laughs> so now I've got like an electrical or an extension cord going with a charger. And anywho, here I am. First, I want to thank my sponsors this month so far, Janice, Jenny, and Karen. Um, your help this month is a really appreciated. Um, December is always a tight month for, I mean, people do buy gifts, but it's, uh, I think art gifts are really hard sometimes to purchase for other people unless you know them really, really well. Um, like little cutesy art things, but you know, it's hard to buy somebody, you know, a painting if you don't really know them or their house or anything. So I really, really appreciate it. Um, so let's get that away. I bought um, Jules, who um, lives out east in the U.S. Um, hi, if you're watching, you're the one that told me to go to Home Depot and buy these. Because I have been using um, the IKEA Lazy Susans. And after buying these, I do like those better because, well, they're thinner. These are, um, these I think are supposed to be maybe tabletops. They're pretty thick, but they're a great price. This is 17 and a half inches and it was, I think, $6.99. Um, so great price. Uh, they are going to be heavy on the wall. So, um... What I'm going to, I don't, I didn't even need to, I don't know why I thought I had to flip this over to show you the back considering it looks the same as this side. I'll put wood, wood, and I think I'm going to, I'm not going to do a wire. I think I'm going to do just like a D-ring and a D-ring, except then you really got to, well, yeah, because I think it'll pull a nail out of the wall otherwise. So I think two hooks, um, and then that way. That way it'll go flat because if I had a wire, it would lack. So two hooks and about this thick so it will stand out from the wall. Um, so that's my plan with this. And uh, my dad will have to help me with that because he's got the whole shop in his basement. I will show you, hang on, I bought the bigger size, which is, um, this was $10 and it's a big one and it, it, I sanded it in the, well, I really was fast, did the um, power sander and put a coat of primer on it, but it, it really needs uh, TLC and it also, um, where it's glued together, I'm going to need a planer to get that so I'll have to plane that um, and this I'm gonna put some wood glue on sand that down so it's a lot of work a lot of work for ten dollar you know it's like I, I'd rather pay 20 and have it all finished but I don't know where to find that either so put that down but the work will be fun I do like working in his shop. He's got like the giant shop smith from like the um, 40s from his grandpa and stuff. So he's got some really cool stuff down there. Oh my goodness. Running around. So I was going to do a hammer mallet on here, but instead I'm going to do a try and do like the uh, Lazy Susan that I love with the blue. So I'm gonna try and do a flip and drag in a circular pattern. 
Today is to when Thursday. Oh my God, I'm losing my mind. Today is Thursday. Star Wars comes out tonight. My son and my husband are going at 930. They had a third ticket, but my daughter backed out and I won't go because then we won't get home till past midnight and I just can't stay up that late. So, uh, so the, the stranger from the other day that my dog was barking at, it's my brother-in-law that, or that was my brother-in-law. So they're going with the stranger. I love those of you. I'm stirring up right now Thalo Blue Artist Loft that has totally separated. I love those of you that said that your dogs and cats <laughs> started barking and pawing at, at your iPads at my dog. I thought that was so funny. So yesterday, Wednesday, I didn't feel good. So I didn't paint. I didn't even take the dog on a walk. But somebody had told me to watch The Good Place, that Ted Danson sitcom. I don't even know if it's still on, but it's on Netflix. So I laid on the couch and uh, drank hot tea and binge watched The Good Place. And it was such a nice relaxing <laughs> evening. <laughs> it really was. I mean, I didn't like that I didn't feel good, but you know. Okay, Artist Loft Deep Red. And I used to have like a whole cache of videos. You know, I'd have like five days worth and I don't right now. So I do actually have two that I filmed with the, um, oh, what you call it? The tablet, but the quality is really not that good. So I'm not sure if I should put it up or not. I'm trying, there's two of them. One, now I can't remember even what pores they were. Well, I'll show you the result of one of them. And then you tell me if I should show the video or not. This is one of them. It looks exactly like my table and it looks exactly like the painting that I copied the table. So I now have twins, it's amazing. The other's on the other side of the room, so I'm not going to grab it, but they are almost identical. So that's that painting. Um, so, ah, let me hop over here. So if you want to see that in really bad quality, let me know. And uh, this color is a mystery color. I don't know what it is. I'm assuming it is, I'm assuming it's like a turquoise that I lightened up or something. Then this is Artist Loft Green Yellow. Oh, and for those of you that have trouble with your Artist Loft paints being um, chunky, I, I mixed up, oh, I sprayed this with um, Zinsser primer. Oh, it stinks so bad. I mean, it's dry, but I can just still smell it. Ugh. This Artist Loft Deep Red is the biggest pain in the butt of all the Artist Loft paints, I think. It's that metallic orange, but this is really bad. And I knew that when I mixed it, I wouldn't be able to use it that night. But now, you know, I didn't paint yesterday. So today it's perfect. So if you just let them sit, so if you know you're going to be using a color that's fussy, this is Artist Loft Orange. If you know you're going to be using a color that's fussy, um, mix it up a day or two in advance. And then, then you know it's going to be chunky and you don't have to stress yourself over it because you know that that's how it's going to be. Okay, dog. So it is the third night of Hanukkah, but my daughter's not coming home until Sunday, which is good because I need to go to the mall and buy some Hanukkah gifts still. <laughs> and for my son. And I don't know how it just sneaks up on me every year. 
so I did prime this. I have a feeling it may still be, I probably should do a second coat, but I am terribly impatient. So I don't know, I could be screwing myself, but I am really an impatient person. But let me make sure that this is the good side or the better side. Cause see even here, there's a little flaw, but yeah, this is the worst side. You can see this has, um, oh, so now I got blue. Now I need to find, except, you know, not having to go to Ikea, one this size that's about a half inch thinner and finish. I mean, I guess I could do the finishing myself, but I don't need it this thick. So I found some wholesale place online, but I don't want like a hundred of them. <laughs> And I can't imagine how expensive these would be to ship. Oh my gosh. So I don't know if people are going to want to buy them outside of, you know, where I live. I guess I don't know what shipping would be, but they are quite heavy. But I had this image of a wall filled with poured circles of different sizes. Okay, I forgot, as I told one of you, I keep forgetting to put the Vaseline on this jar. And I told her last night I respond. Oh, because I also had finally had time to respond to everybody on YouTube. Um, oh, and for those of you that when, for some reason, for those of you that write to me in a language besides English, I, for some reason, cannot copy from my phone into Google Translate. On my computer, I just copy, you know, copy paste into Google Translate. So sometimes on my phone, if I'm answering, I'll say, you know, I got to, I, I read, I'm reading this, but I don't know what it says and I'll get back to you when I'm able to be on my computer. So, and one of those was in German today, I finally translated it. <laughs> and it, tra it did translate goofy, but I understood exactly. I understood exactly what you meant. In Spanish, I can usually pick out some words. And French, like the words that have to do with beauty, I can I can understand because, you know, when you buy makeup and hair products, they it's usually in English, French, Spanish. So like I can, <laughs> it's, so words about beauty that are on products, I can usually figure those out. In Spanish, I can get a little bit, but German, I, I don't know any German at all. My husband took German, but I don't know how much he still knows. All right, so this went on really nice. My son takes Latin in school, but uh, so far none of you have um, written to me in Latin. <laughs> more paper out. I am just going to torch the bubbles out. So Michael's had their canvases 60% off two days ago, I think it was, and then another 20%. So I did that two days ago. Oh, it's part of the, there is. And then today, Today they've got them 70% off. And then I also get my teacher discount. But it's like, I don't know. I should, well now it's too late because now it's closed probably. But I restrained myself. 
I'm like, I've, December, you know, December's a lean month. So I was like, I better not. Plus I got these. So. And then I'm going to scavenge. Oh gosh, why'd I do it that way? Then I'm going to scavenge in my dad's um, shop to see if there's any unique things I could pour on. I think I'm going to do, for the flip cup, trying to decide the bigger I'm going to go with a wider mouth and I am going to go back to my WD-40. Let me make sure that this is still in. Um, yeah, looking good. I see a big glare in the middle, but that can't be helped. Uh, I'm going to spray this over here. Okay. So not a whole lot. I don't want a whole lot. Um, till I'm running it upside down so that if there's any excess it will just come out and there's not. All right, I'm going to start with the red and remember that that blue was really thin because that's that blue that I've been using for my last few pours. Beautiful color and the thinness works but I can't use it alone because it's really and it just sneaks right under the other colors. And I just finished off mystery color. Oh, you know what? I wanted to start this with white in the bottom. a little bit of white in it though. Oh my goodness, this is filled to the brim. And so this is like 17, so this is bigger than I've done anything for a while. So I obviously can't flip it or this I can flip the cup. There we go. That was pretty good actually. And it is moving along by itself. I'm glad I chose the wider mouth because it will mean less, uh, um, or I mean a wider, less tilting to get it big. That makes sense, right? I hope. Well, I hope that's not all the color. Let's torch. Well, shoot, I might do, I might do an additional flip. Oh, probably because I put the white in. Hmm. This is not how wanted it to be. This is just a mess. I wonder I don't know why it is 
like that. I think I just, um, oh, this thing's so heavy to turn, yikes. Yeah, there's just, well, maybe this will work, we'll see. I like all the other stuff. It's just that side. So maybe I should just tilt that part off. This puppy's heavy. Okay. So it was not exactly as I envisioned it. That is. That's going to have to go on that other side. That is really ugly. Where'd my white go? Here we go. hate to not like this. <laughs> Parts of it I really like. Oh, wow. Oh my God, I cannot believe there's just so much color. Maybe I will just turn this, make this bigger. Okay, I'm seeing promise. I'm going to get that whole side off. Gah, no. No, 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 no. These colors have gotten really ugly. I think it's the orange.
pretty sure it was the orange. Pretty soon the weight of all of this wet paint is going to make my whole tray collapse. So there was no silicone in that last bit that I just put on. much better. Oh, I guess I should probably put some white down here. I really hope this doesn't collapse on me. That blue's causing some issues over there. Woo, that looks cool, that blue. That sounds real great in the microphone. <sighs> I like this part. And I was going to tilt off this side. Well, maybe I still will. Clean it up a little bit. I did not um, tape the back, but Dave, was it you who was like, just sand the backs? And I was like, oh my God, that's so simple. How did that not even occur to me? Sometimes. 
sometimes I think you're sitting too close, you know, and you just can't see what you need to be seeing. Okay. Well, that was a workout for my back. So this was nothing how I imagined I wanted it to be. Um, but I adore how it turned out. And even what could have been seen as a bad thing with that blue, it looks like um, looks like a pen exploded, I guess. You know, it just it's got a very cool look to it. So Oh, and there's such a glare. Yeah, I'm sorry about the glare. Let's see. At least then you can... So... There you are. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and share and I'll catch you next time.